Hi guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome back to another video. So I thought in this one I would share with you guys some of my interview tips. So I know the interview process can be completely different for everyone, whether this is your first interview or you've done multiple interviews before, every interview is so different. And so just preparing for it and how to prepare for it, I thought I would share with you guys my experiences. Well, I have done multiple interviews in the past and so I do have quite a bit of experience with it. And I do realize that the more interviews I go on and the more practice that I get, the more confident I become. And so one of the main things that you want to come off in an interview is to be as confident as possible. Interviewers want to see that you know you know what you're talking about. You come off with this image that you are a very confident person. So like I said, this is challenging for some people, but you do have to fake it till you make it in a way. And it's something that comes with a lot of practice. So what I do recommend is going online, finding questions that interviewers may ask you. And what I did to prepare for it was I did a Google Doc of all the potential questions interviewers can ask me. And I basically would write in a paragraph how I would answer this question. And then basically what I did was just practice it over and over and over again until I became comfortable and until it got to the point that it flowed out of my mouth as naturally as possible. Because with an interview, you want it to be like a conversation and you do not want to sound rehearsed. So it's very hard for you to find the fine lines between preparing in advance and doing all this prep work for it and practicing all of it and making it sound as natural as possible and is as if you didn't practice any of it. So it's very difficult, I know, and it's so complicating, but I promise you that it's better for you to be prepared than just winging it. Um, every person is different and I am the type of person that can't just wing something because I end up rambling on and on and then I stumble upon my words. So I do have a Google Doc of all potential questions that they may ask me and then I will have paragraphs of how I respond to it and then you can just practice with your friends or I sometimes will just practice by myself and just repeat myself over and over and over again until I become just so fluent in it basically that it just flows out naturally and you want to make sure you sound as conversational as much as possible. So a lot of questions that I was asked in my interviews was the first very obvious one is tell me about yourself. So this one can be very difficult to answer because you want to figure out what you may want to talk about and you don't want to undershare and you don't want to overshare because you're going to be asking other questions later that may have you repeat things that you may potentially already have said. So it's very difficult to answer this question. Generally, I like to just talk about my current experience that I have right now. And then further on in our interview, I can explain more in detail. So it's something that you just need to work on. And another question that I do get asked often in interviews is why nursing? So that's a very, very common question you're going to ask because I mean, you're applying for a nursing position, aren't you? And so they're going to ask you what makes you interested in this position, why you want to work here. And that's another common question I get asked is why so-and-so hospital? What can we bring for you? Or why are you interested in working with us? And so that's another very common question I get asked too. So it's very difficult because I want to give you guys examples, but at the same time, this is everyone's personal experience. And so I don't want to push off information in you and you know verbatim things and so please try to come with situations in your own personal life on how you can respond to these questions um, i just want to share with you guys questions that i get asked quite frequently when i do interviews so those are the very common ones i get asked um, other ones that i get asked are more situational questions so um, tell me about a time in your clinical experience or during your clinical rotations where you had to speak up for your patient or advocate for your patient. So that's a very common experience that is more towards like a new grad setting, but you'll probably get asked this as well. If you do have experience, just tell me about experience or a time in your work life where you had to advocate for your patient. So that's a very common question that you get asked as well. Another question that I get asked quite frequently is leadership experience. So tell me about a time where you taught other people 
or showed leadership in any kind of way. So this is the perfect time for you to shine as well. Talk about any of your volunteer experiences and anything that you did in your, you know, college life that you did outside of nursing school. This is the perfect time for you to explain these um, to your interviewers. Another question that I do get asked quite often as well is more scenario questions. So um, I did get asked in my new grad program interviews of situations where this happened and how would you respond to it? So this is the one where I had a lot of difficulty when I was applying for new grad positions and going to these new grad interviews because I did not have that experience in order to answer these questions. So this is very complicating and I don't really have a specific scenario for you just because every interviewer will ask different things. So just try looking online of possible scenario questions that you may get asked um, depending on the unit that you're working on. So another get question I do get asked as well is tell me about a time where you were able to work with other people or you didn't work with other people well or situations where you dealt with family members that were difficult. How did you respond to this? So that is something I do get asked quite frequently um, and it's very situational. So think about situations in your life or during your clinical settings where you experience something like this. Um, I genuinely didn't really experience anything like this. So I was honest and I told my interviewers that honestly, I didn't come across this situation, but what I would do and so and so and so. And another question I do get asked as well is tell me about a difficult patient you had or just a different difficult situation that you had and how did you respond to that? So for example, I had a situation where I had experienced a code for the very first time and I truly did not know what my role and how to respond in this kind of situation. But my response to this was, well, I put myself out there and tried to help as much as possible, be a resource. And I think using that as my response, a lot of interviewers were pleased when I talked about this. So I know it can be difficult to find actual examples of this in your clinical setting. So just try thinking about that while you're currently in nursing school right now or currently in your work life right now. And what I like to do is I like to jot down any types of scenarios that I experienced during clinical setting or even during my work experience now. So let's say I experienced something crazy that day or I did experience a time where I had to advocate for my patient or I experienced a difficult patient workload that I was overwhelmed. How did I respond to it? So I do carry a notebook with me while I'm working and anytime I ever experience anything like this, I do jot it down. So that way, when you do have a chance to go to your interviews, you actually have a perfect example of when you did this. And it can be difficult because sometimes you forget and you just overlook things like this. So this is a recommendation that I have for you, carry a notebook around and try to write down at the end of your shift things that went well today and things that didn't go well today. And that way you have personal examples you can use in your interviews. So I know this is a difficult video and um, interviews are is always a difficult challenge and everyone experiences so differently. But what I do want to share is that it does get better. The more interviews you do, the more practice you get and the better and comfortable you become. And so use every opportunity you can try to go on as much interviews as much as possible. And if you don't land the job, then think of it as a experience and try to learn from that and what you could do better for your next interview. So don't be discouraged. Keep going, keep going the interviews and think of them as practice. Put the best that you can into your interviews and just know that you put your all in it. So that's why I do recommend practicing as much as possible. Whether you have a friend or family members, you can practice with them and then try to think of it more as a conversation. So now I wanna talk about what you would do once you land your interview. So once you land your interview, now you're doing preparation work for it. And what I do recommend is that once you go to your interview, of course, the appearance and what you wear really makes a huge difference the way you interact with your interviewer. So of course you wanna be respectful and when you come in, be as polite as possible, introduce yourself. And then what I do recommend when wearing clothes to interviews is try to be as simple as possible and to just make sure that you're very clean because 
Honestly, people, when you go to an interview, want to make sure that you have great hygiene and you know that you look put together. So I do recommend trying to be as clean as possible. So ladies, trying to not wear as much jewelry. And if you do have your nails painted or if you do wear makeup, try to wear like very light makeup. Don't have a whole bunch of colored nails and things like that. Just very, you know, neutral as much as possible. And clothing, you want to be as formal as possible. Um, so I do recommend wearing like blouses and like pantsuits. If you want to wear a skirt, then maybe wear one below the knees. Um, don't wear something too short. And then for heels, I do recommend wearing like a smaller kitten heel or I usually just always wear flats to my interviews. And then for guys, um, when it comes to the hair, try to comb it back as much as possible. Keep it nice and sleek. Um, maybe shave or at least be as clean shaven as possible. And um, when it comes to clothes, I think the best is to still wear the pant and the suit and be as clean as possible. So I think when it comes to interviews, clothing is very important because it does create that first image of you. And the first impression is always so important, whether it's through interviews or even just meeting new people. The first thing you see is that person's face. So you want to make a very nice impression. And so, you know, smile, just be as warming and welcoming as possible. Of course, thank your interviewers after you're done with your interview for giving you the opportunity and the chance to be able to interview with them and that you're lucky to be there. So a lot of people do ask, like, should I send a card to my interviews and things like that? It just really depends on you and what you'd like to do um, for my interviews personally I didn't do that but do whatever makes you feel comfortable and if you want to send cards to your interviewers then definitely do that um, I also brought portfolios to my interviews and so in my portfolios I usually would put of course my resume as the first page and then anything that I mentioned in my resume so let's say all my certifications I actually printed them all out and I put them in my portfolios while all my reference letters I printed those out put them in there as well and then I put a copy of my license so it was just a very nice small portfolio that I would carry and give to my interviewers that way everything is in front of them and they have the paperwork that they need Usually a lot of interviewers will already have your resume and things like that, but I do like to be a little bit extra and carry a small portfolio with me and give it to however many people is there. So I usually will bring maybe like 10 copies and depending on how much people you actually interview with, at least you are prepared for that. So I do bring portfolios with me and usually I like to carry extra copies of just like single um, resume papers as well, just if they want a copy so just being prepared for that so with my portfolio i actually purchased this off of amazon because i wanted to share with you guys um, the type of portfolio that i would bring with me to these interviews it just made me look more professional and i personally think that you know looking the part and being um, as prepared as possible in these interviews makes you stand out and so I think a lot of my interviewers when I went and brought portfolios and was fully prepared felt were very pleased and so I wanted to share with you guys this one that I purchased I'll link it in the description um, but it was just a black leather one very sleek and very clean and inside of it what I liked about it is that it actually has a notebook in there so you can always write down notes and so what I usually do before my interview is that I ask for permission if it's okay to just jot down some notes and that way if I ever come across something in our interview that I want to write down, is that okay with them to be able to write notes? And usually a lot of times, a lot of my interviewers are totally okay with that. So I do like that the inside of this has a large notebook in here so you guys can write down the notes that you need. And then what I do like on the side of it as well is they have little pockets for like business cards. So if you wanna go the extra mile and create business cards for yourself, you totally can do that, it is up to you. Um, personally, I did not do that, but whatever works for you. Um, but yeah, they have little slots in this portfolio that you can put little um, business cards, whether you receive it or whether you want to give out business cards. They also have little pockets, that way if you get any paperwork, um, you can put it in here and then you can keep it with you and there's a pocket here as well. So this one was very, very nice. Um, this one I got off of Amazon. It wasn't even that pricey at all. So I did carry one to all the interviews that I went and it just makes you look a lot sleeker and more prepared. So this is just an example of one of the portfolios that I carry. There's a lot of other ones they have online that's like a briefcase type of thing. So it's really up to you and what you like to bring. But this is um, one of the ones that I brought to my interview. Ryan Lee.
Lezzo. <lacht> So I hope this video was helpful to you and please let me know down in the comments below what other interview questions you have and hopefully I can answer them for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!